All praise is our power. Our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash. All praise is our power. Our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim who teach one rule, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam, listening, listening, and learning, and sincere and in truth and in silence. Shalom. Yahweh, be in the name of the Father. Yahweh Shai, be in the name of, the, of his only begotten Son. This is, this is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. <laughs> Here in Toronto with another lesson. Proverbs 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right? Our Lord is going to return. Our Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Shai, is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Yah, he, Yahweh Shai, deliverer. The deliverer for the house of Israel, Israel being a people before a place. Our Lord is going to return and destroy this place. Right? So riches will have no profit in that day. The day of wrath. Whose wrath? Yahweh B'Shem Shai. And two-thirds of our people are so entrenched in this system. This Babylon system. This B system. That They're so invested in their riches that they are going to pierce themselves to hang on to it. To hang on to their riches. To hang on to their way of life. To hang on to their comforts, their securities. Right? Pierce themselves how? The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The grain of rice. The M to the O to the T to the B. The C hip, which is physical. An insertable physical device. Proverbs 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. Right? And who are the righteous? The elect. Right? The righteous, the elect, Lord willing over that number, are, are storing up treasures in heaven to be delivered in that day. Right? Because missiles are going to fly. The earth is going to reel to and fro like a dunk, like a drunkard. Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42, verse 13. The Lord Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man, right? As a man of war. Ex Ex Exodus chapter 15, verse 3, I believe. It says, the Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. I'm roughly paraphrasing. Exodus, the 15th chapter. Around the third or fourth verse. Around the third or fourth verse. Right? Isaiah 61 says, it's like it. Isaiah 63 says, who is this that cometh? All right, let's get that. Isaiah 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Right? Dyed garments being symbolic of his, of his war vesture. He's coming to judge and make war. In righteousness, judge and make, make war. Revelation, verse 11. Right? So like it. Revelation, Revelation 19, the 11th verse. Right? In righteousness, judge and make war. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Dyed garments from Basra. Basra being America. This, that is glorious in his apparel. Right? He's coming in the, with the host of heaven and in his angelic body. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. The chariots, the ships, 
I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. He's talking about Yahweh Shai, and he's going to come and shed blood. Right? Revelation 19, since I butchered it. Revelation 19, verse 11. Vision of John the Revelator. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. The white horse is a chariot, white symbolic of purity, horse symbolic of power, the ships. And he that sat upon him, right, Yahweh Shai, is going to be riding a spaceship with the world, everything calls UFOs, right? Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to invade and judge and make war. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, Yahweh Shai. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Right? He's coming to judge and make war. Back in Isaiah 42. So riches aren't going to profit nothing in the day of wrath. Right? Trying to hang on to Esau's queendom is not going to profit nothing in the day of wrath. Lining up in those chipping stations is not going to save you. Isaiah 42, verse 13, and it reads, The Lord Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man, right, it's coming to make war. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, war. He shall prevail against his enemies, right? The Lord Yahweh Shai and the hosts of heaven are not going to lose. Verse 14, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still, right? The sun, Yahweh Shai, is waiting to do this. And refrain myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai is not coming on no nice guy thing. It says here, destroy, he will destroy and devour at once. Verse 15. I will make waste of mountains and hills. All governments, all rulerships are going to be made waste. And dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands. And I will dry up the pools. Right? Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. In tandem with the laser beams. From the chariots. Right? So hanging on. Having a vested interest. In America the great. Will not save you. Proverbs 10. Verse 2. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing. Right? Hanging on to your bank account. Hanging on to your 401k. Hanging on to Esau's money system, Esau's crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? Lining up in them chipping stations. Proverbs 10 verse 2, treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death, right? Lord willing, we're of that number to be delivered from the coming destruction. James 1 verse 11. And it reads, For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Right? Money's going to profit nothing in that day. Riches, stocks, bonds, Right? The true riches is in Yahweh Shai. The true riches is his truth. Right? Romans uh, 11.
Romans 11, verse 33. And it reads, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. Right, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashai. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out, right? This, this, this knowledge is a true wisdom. Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies, right? Wisdom is better than, than, than riches, rubies, right? This truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding is better than any crypto, any Bitcoin, any fat ass bank accounts. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it, right? All the things that you desire in the world, carnal things, physical things, fat ass bitch, you know? Your choice of a, a vehicle, you know, carnal things, right? None of, none, none of those things can be compared to this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. Isaiah 36, verse 6, and it reads, Lo, low meaning look, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed. Right, and what's this broken reed? The broken reed is a system, right? You ever see splintered wood? You break like a... a uh, a bamboo stick, you break it and it splinters, right? On Egypt, America, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, where on if a man lean, right? You're leaning on the shadow of Egypt, leaning on the system, trusting in the system, looking, looking towards the system, placing your faith in the system. It will go into his hand and pierce it. Right? And ultimately, you're going to be faced with the hour of temptation. You are going to have to, because Esau Edom is going to mandate his, his, the, 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 the grain of rice, the Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. You are going to have to take it to continue. You're going to have to take it to, to do merchant, mer to be a merchant, to do transactions, to buy and sell, to hang on to your belongings, to hang on to your, 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 your assets, your commodities. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him, right? Trusting in this, this wicked system, man. Trusting in this the, 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 this, this, the, the image, the image being the system of the beast. The revised Roman Empire, right? This diabolical madman is about to roll out a CBDC, right? And that CBDC is going to segue, is going to be the launching platform for the Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. Revelation 3, let's close. Revelation 3, verse 10, and it reads, Red letter, our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, right? Patience meaning to suffer in this truth, because when you enter into this truth, Scripture says, uh, prepare thyself for temptation. Matter of fact, let's get that and come back to this. Sirach chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Prepare thy soul for temptation, right? Get ready to catch hell. Get ready to suffer. You come to serve the Lord in sincerity and truth. Get ready to suffer. You, you, you come to serve Yahweh Bashem El Shai in sincerity and truth. Get ready to suffer. Prepare thyself for temptation. Revelation 3 verse 10 once again. Because, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right? Everyone's going to be presented with this the, the, the Esau Edom is going to mandate this thing The grain of rice Everyone is going to be presented with it man Do I take it? Do I not take it? 
which shall come upon all the world. The whole world going to be presented with this. Edomites, Elamites, Ishmaelites, Ammonites, Moabites, you Israelites, to try them, right? The Lord is going to keep his elect, preserve his elect from this thing. Because the elect won't fold. To try them that dwell upon the earth. They pray it up, pray it all ceasing. Shall I warm to the hopeful elect? 